Michael McMill is a lot of things. He's a former drummer for the legendary rock and roll group Three Dog Night. He's in East Tennessee in these days. Beautiful ranch in the new Tazewell area where he shines a light on local musicians with a YouTube series called Live at Mickey's Place. He's also a friend of the show, joins us once a month to fill us in on some of his musical finds. And today is that day. Michael, uh, it's good to have you back in, my friend. How you doing? That's good. Although, <laughs> when you said snake. What's your snake story? Well, you, first of all, I had to pull off the road because uh, it was a horrific experience. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Do okay. you Are you scared of snakes? Oh, God. You are? Okay. Well, you know, I was working with a guy the other day, and there was a black snake, right? And he just panicked. He said, my God, I think it's a copper. Look, look, run, run. I said, what is it? I don't know. Let's... And it was just a small black snake. Yeah. Right? Okay, so Smitty, uh, the first guitar player that replaced Michael Alsop in Three Dog, used to carry an eight-foot boa constrictor uh, in his guitar case. No. no. I swear no. to God. I don't know how he shipped it when we took uh, planes and things. But yeah, it was eight foot, and he said that uh, he would keep it at his house, and uh, he had a chandelier, and the snake would stay above his bed on a chandelier. No, I don't, I don't know no, what it is. No. Did you ever mess with it on tour? I, I no, none of us would get close to it. <laughs> you know, but it was nuts, nuts, nuts. Dude, I can't do snakes, and I'm glad to know you can't either, so I don't have to worry about you dragging one in here one day, right? But let's go watch snakes on a plane. Yeah, and I can watch them all day long. I just don't want to be around one. As long as there's a piece of glass between the snake and myself, I'm good. I know it. I know it. Hey, man, let's talk about Live at Mickey's Place. If you haven't seen this on YouTube, it's I love what you're doing there, man, and, and you're shining a light on local talent. It's done very well there in your, uh, your, your wonderful ranch up in New Tazewell. Why did you decide to start finding and not just finding, but then recognizing local musicians? Well, you know, it's hard for me to get off the hill because it's so beautiful. Up it there. is. 90 acres and what have you. Uh, but a friend uh, was doing a jam session, uh, a guy named John Mason, and uh, he does a lot of blues jams. He invited me down to Roger's Place, which is in Knoxville. And lo and behold, you went down there. I've been, yeah, you and I went, uh, gosh, it's been a few months back, but we were yeah. there. And I said, oh, my gosh. I got to do something with these guys. Now, I had a recording studio already, but I had no video equipment at all. Back in the 80s, I used to have a video production company, so I spent a lot of time doing that. Anyway, so I went out. I first started with phone cameras, uh, you know, <laughs> and uh, with a GoPro. And, you know, I'm turning all these things off, you know, like this one just turned off. And by the way, we are filming today. Yes, I love this. And you're looking sharp. <laughs> I want the bearded one to come in and all just right. make an appearance. you got to put that beard on video <laughs> so we can to. go on YouTube. I'll step man. in there in a little bit. you got to okay. do this. <laughs> anyway, so I saw these great musicians and I said, okay, what am I going to do about this? So I started. And then after trial and error, you know, I, I, I put up lights and everything else and, um, and because I was fairly uh, experienced with it, I found the right cameras and right uh, everything. And so now, you know, we, we shoot with seven cameras and uh, all 4K uh, and it, it rocks, man. Buddy, I love it. Live at Mickey's Place yeah. on YouTube. So check it out. Tell us about today's featured artist, the Vertical Birds. <laughs> well, it's funny. I have a friend named Marlisa who terms them uh, as the Vertical Blinds. <laughs> It's easy to read it that way, you yeah. know? <laughs> These guys, i tell you, DJ, who's a singer and songwriter, guitar player, I think he'll be calling in today. And we've got Jeremy on bass and uh, Eric on keyboards and James, who I love his drum. And James, if you're listening, these guys, um, mm, they're soulful. Uh, he writes his own material. Uh, and uh, terrific. You know, that's what I have found. There's These musicians... I loved East Tennessee musicians. I mean, they're just the best. Good, wholesome people, church-going people most of the time. And uh, it's just fun. It's, it's, it's so nurturing for me to be able to bring them up. You know, we do lunch. We do crazy stuff. We did something last week. I call it suicide frizz cornhole. But say that again, suicide frisbee cornhole, frisbee, suicide frisbee cornhole. Right. So somebody you play your regular 
cornhole game. <laughs> but then we have Frisbees trying to knock them off course. And uh, I mean, it was like, <laughs> it was, a, it was crazy. Just crazy. I love it. Yeah. So I try to come up with uh, some, uh, you know, some fun stuff that, uh, in fact, I don't know if I told you about, um, uh, did I say about Hillbilly Jedi? Last um, I, I, you've got a video on, yeah. on live at Mickey's Place, your channel, right? Yeah, yeah. I, but pl go, please tell me about that. Well, I took clips from Star Wars and I, Luke, I did a whole thing <laughs> on the Sun Sphere that uh, rival gangs are held up in the Sun Sphere. Oh, cool. Right. And uh, Darth comes in and then I found some clips of Darth, but I did a voiceover. You know, we've got to. We've got to take over <sighs> Knoxville, you know, the whole deal. <laughs> it's just a great way, a creative way to have fun. And these guys are great. Um, I just, uh, last week, I just did a group called NTAC, E, uh, let's see, N-T-A-C-T -T, from South Carolina. They're the OJs and Temptations all rolled into one. Wow. I can't wait for you to It's hear. nice to hear that that music still has a place. You know, the OJs, the Temptations kind of thing. Yeah. Before we hit the break, Eric, let's skip clip one and go to clip two. And I want to give you a sample of the Vertical Birds. DJ, you reference, he's on the phone. We'll talk to him when we come back here in just a second. But here's a, uh, a quick sound of the Vertical Birds here. Wheels on fire. Original. Oh, I've tried. Desire and fear, and the road ain't wide, and there's no way out. Covered in fire, and paved with doubt. DJ Morrison, lead singer there. He's going to join us when we get back here. Uh, Michael McNeil, his once a month visit. We'll learn all about the group and the song when we come back here on Yarbrough. Michael McNeil, three dog night drummer back in the day, and he's in East Tennessee now. Great place up there in New Tazewell. He seeks out and then spotlights a lot of local musicians, a lot of musicians just in general. And today uh, we're featuring the Vertical Birds, what do we need to know about the Vertical Birds? And what do we need to know about uh, DJ? You want to get DJ in here? Yeah, get DJ. All right, in there. DJ, uh, good morning, my friend. Welcome into Yarbrough. You sound phenomenal. What a great clip that was we played just before the break. How are you, sir? <laughs> thank you so much, Bob. Doing great. I appreciate the kind words. And thank you, Michael. Thank yeah. you guys for having me. He's a humble dude. But let me tell you, he kicks butt, man. He kicks butt. He he plays. I love. He plays a slide guitar. You know, he's got that little thing on his pinky, mm -hmm. right? And then he sings and plays. Uh, remember George Benson? How he would, uh, you know, do 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 do. Sure. Yeah. Well, he does a similar thing. Uh, tasteful, soulful. Uh, I can't say enough about James, the drummer. James is a solid drummer, and I asked him why, and he says because I I practice with a metronome all the time really oh yeah you got to you how got common to. is your drummer how common is it that they practice with the metronome well back in the 70s we just said go and go <laughs> right not anymore but i don't want to i don't want to go ahead dj i don't want to dj what got you into music when did you know you had a talent oh i'm still trying to figure out whether i do or not <laughs> but, uh, you are humble no, I, yeah you're humble uh, uh I, I got into it uh, kind of the tender age of about 13, 14 years old, playing this old time kind of Appalachian bluegrass country and gospel stuff with my grandfather, Ken, you know, playing in churches and these kind of backwoods shindigs, if you will, we called them. And uh, then went on from there to study classical and jazz stuff uh, with a 
a local East Tennessee legend by the name of uh, Bob Orr, the late Bob Orr, bless him. But I don't know, went on from there, played uh, jazz, jazz ensemble, went to start, start bands and moonlighting for folks back in the 2000s. And, um, you know, just uh, developed a love for it that persists to this day. Yeah. Buddy, I'm 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 glad it does, and uh, it sounds phenomenal. I know you've heard this before, but there is a Chris Stapleton sound to to you and your voice. I I think you've heard that before, have you? And and is is that okay that someone someone tells you that? My gosh, that's one of the greatest compliments I think any singer could could receive. To be compared to anyone successful is fantastic, but to somebody like Chris, I mean, that guy's a, a monster powerhouse singer. So thank you. Thank you very much. Do you get that often? You're welcome, by the way. Do you get that often? <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that a few times, and we do one Chris Stapleton song in, in our live sets. We'll, we'll sing a Tennessee whiskey, you know, every night we play, and, and that's one of the highlights of oh. the night so i do i do my best with, hey dj with this stuff give, a, give give yeah. me fi- give me 15 seconds of tennessee whiskey <laughs> really? Come on. You'd be on the spot man i know you're gonna have to pay for that uh let's see um uh you're as smooth as tennessee whiskey you're as sweet Strawberry wine. I'll hire you. <laughs> You're as warm. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. So. Man, I bet you bring the house down when you do that live, don't you? Uh, yes. yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a really good time. Admit People it, love that song. It. And oh, good stuff. <laughs> hey, let's do this real quickly. Let's. Uh, I got another sample of uh, one of your songs, "The Vertical Birds." This is DJ Morrison. This is uh, clip number three, Mr. Glasgow. This is Hard Times from the Vertical Birds. Yeah, Ray Charles. Well, I soon found out just what you meant when I had to pawn my clothes just to pay my rent. Talking about hard times. Know those hard times, man. Who knows better than I? And that's you on the guitar, DJ. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Oh, nice, man. Hey, I can hear a little hand of Ray Charles in your voice as well, buddy. Love Ray Charles. The thing Love is, it. though, he makes them his own. That's the thing. And I don't understand why a guy like him and Vertical Birds are not signed and doing something. It just mm. aggravates me. Yeah. Where do you perform, my uh, DJ? Where can we find your music and where can we find you and the Vertical Birds performing? Yeah, I'd say the best place to start is just go to our website. It's theverticalbirds.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, at the Vertical Birds. Uh, the next thing we've got coming up is going to be July 8th at Tennessee Cap House in West Knoxville from 7 to 10. But we've got all our shows posted on the website. You can check it out. And- uh, we post on socials every time we play. So. Right. Theverticalbirds.com and on uh, social media as well. What are you hoping for the future, man? What are you What are you wanting to accomplish with the group? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm I'm imagining this time next month we'll be playing Madison Square Garden, <laughs> and then from there. Yeah. <laughs> now, realistically, I, I mean, we're 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 planning um, over the uh, over the fall coming up to get in the studio and and get an EP released and get it on all the all the channels, Spotify and and what have you, and just get more folks listening to it, more folks coming to the gigs, and uh, you know, one of our big goals. It, it's kind of funny actually how it worked out. Um, one of our big goals for this year has been we want to try to become an opening act for one of these touring acts coming through town. We want to play the Tennessee Theater or BG Theater, right? It sounds fantastic. Well, we got the opportunity, not as a big opening act, but we do have a spot on August 7th. We're playing the Tennessee Theater at noon mm-hmm. and it's a free show. So any any listeners want to come and check us out at that show, please come. Hey, it's going to be a great what's, time. It's, what's that date? again 
It's August 7th at noon. <clears throat> August 7th, noon. Okay, free show at Tennessee yeah. Theater. He's got the right idea. He yeah. needs to get with a national touring group to open up for them and expose themselves to that these new audiences. Uh, that's so smart, DJ. That is so smart. Well, thank you. Yeah, and, and stuff like this. I really appreciate you showcasing us and Michael, everything you're doing, just more more stuff like that. And I, I can't say enough about Michael and all that he's doing and has done already for local music and the whole scene. And, uh, you know, he's helped in creating this, this um, you know, community of people that um, – Otherwise, would not have occurred. So, kudos to you too, brother. Man. I, more stuff like that for all of us. Couldn't agree more with you, DJ. And I'm uh, so thrilled to have gotten to know Michael. And uh, boy, we just randomly kind of came together, didn't we? But okay. uh, here we are. Let's get uh, Marlisa in real quickly. She's got a comment, maybe a question for everyone. Good morning, Marlisa. Good morning, everyone. Enjoying morning. the show here from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm waiting for the vertical blinds to come and do my blinds this oh. morning, but I know they got better things to do. Okay, now they I'm well, we got the connection <laughs> today. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we we got your measurements in, and the measurements were wrong, so you're gonna have to redo that for us. <laughs> hey, See, you got better you things to do. <laughs> yeah, she came up with the vertical blinds. <laughs> That's oh, good, man. Way, on their show, I open up with the scene from uh, the birds. Where the flock, Alfred Hitchcock's yeah, thing, yeah. And the birds are chasing kids and stuff. And I love it, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's uh, the live at Mickey's place <laughs> yeah, on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Marlisa, thank you much. That's funny. Uh, while while we got you, DJ, she brings up a great question. Where did the name The Vertical Birds come from? Where did you get this? <laughs> oh, I, I'll make it a short story. So I, I have my daughter and my wife to thank for the name. So uh, just like any new band does, we were kicking around ideas for a while, you know, for a few weeks and just throwing stuff back and forth and nothing was sticking. And just when things were kind of going off the rails, honestly, and we reverted to just coming up with a bunch of silly stuff just for a good laugh. I was sitting at the dinner table one night with the wife and kids, and we were doing the same thing, sitting there coming up with goofy stuff, shouting funny names back and forth. And then there was a brief pause in the madness. My wife suddenly kind of staring at the wall says, the vertical birds real calmly. And I immediately I was like, wait, wait, what, what was that? And <laughs> she pointed to this picture hanging on the wall at our dinner table and said the vertical birds. And I turned and looked and it's this picture, this goofy crayon drawing that our daughter Sophie had made when she was about five years old of these funny looking bus looking birds with what looked like propellers for tails and sticks for legs, just kind of stacked and standing on top of each other for no apparent reason. And, and that was, you know, what was in her artistic little brain at the time. And I heard that name, looked at that drawing and instantly just said, that's it. That's the name. Reached out to the guys and said, I got it, guys. And they got the consensus. And uh, it's <laughs> here genius. we are. It's I love it, man. Genius. Yeah. When and her name is Sophie. Sophie. <laughs> Right. Sophie, yeah, she is quite, and actually, I mean, she's actually turned out to be a, a real artist. You know, she's, I would, to the point I would be surprised, you know, if she doesn't end up one day with a career in it, she's really turned out to be a great artist. But Buddy, that funny little drawing, that was the start I, of it all. <laughs> I love how it just appeared before you, and, and, and you recognized it uh, as well. So let's get Jackie in real quickly here. Jackie, good morning. And you're on with DJ and Michael McMill and uh, Yarbrough here. Yeah. I just broke Brother Michael. Up. Yes. It's Jackie Wilburn, son. How are you? Hey, Jackie, Jackie. You're playing in Pigeon Forge, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I'm not right. I'm not right now. Okay. Uh, no, I, I wanted to come on here and just tell you, DJ Cat, you've got some soul, man. I dig it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He does. Good. Uh, good point there, Jackie. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Uh, live at Mickey's place on YouTube. Yep. You can check them all out. You're going to come back next month. We're going to shine a spotlight on some other folks. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And DJ will be looking forward to all your music right there um, on uh, Spotify and all the different places you can find that. Uh, the vertical blind, uh, the vertical. Mar Marlisa's got hey, me messed it. up, man. She's got me all jacked up on this. <laughs> the vertical birds.com. And we'll look forward to that free show on August the 7th at noon at the Tennessee theater. DJ, best of luck, my friend. Thank you much.